Hey everybody. Welcome back to Regina's World. I'm gonna try to get this video out really quickly. Before we well, record it before I get another phone call. My work day is almost over with, but I need to call it any minute still. So let me turn this off. Um anyway, so the as you see about the title. For getting into my personal business so yet again that's what these story times or whatever is for to get in my business <laughs> so I asked on Instagram what is something that you want to know about me sexually and someone said how many partners have you ever had in your entire life <sighs> I said wow that is a very intrusive question <laughs> but here I am going to talk about it and I'm going to answer it to the best of my knowledge to the best of my knowledge because honestly I don't recall but then again let's get into some business like comment share and subscribe let's get into this video um so well I guess we got to take it all the way back to when I actually started having SCX and that is when I was 16 years old so I can't recall every every actual body but we're gonna do a body count or it's gonna make me like a straight hole <laughs> I'm gonna do my body count for my people as best as I can remember it's probably not as bad as I may think it is but we'll give it a good go just remember I'm 37. I started having SCX when I was 16. So don't judge me. Don't judge me. Whatever, whatever it turns out to be, do not judge me. Okay? Do not judge me. As women who's way older than me, whose probably body count is way higher. Okay? Whatever my number is, with everything that I can remember. The people that I'm gonna say this disclaimer, these are the people who I can remember. I'm just being 100% honest with you. Over my entire lifespan, I will not remember everybody who I had SCX with, when, where, and how. But I will remember people who actually made an impact, who was in my life. I probably probably would never remember one they said. When in my 20s, I had a ton of those. Like, But I'm going to recall the people who actually I either had some kind of relationship with, closeness with some kind of impact in my life had children by or whatever etc etc all right so first person first person who I lost my virginity to you know who he is I never put his business out there but he was a major impact on my life the person I lost my virginity to number two was my first boyfriend Corey Rav I dated him all through high school didn't sleep with anybody else until he went off to jail when he graduated from high school that I met this other guy Jason Hawkins alright so after Corey was Jason Hawkins Jason Hawkins was a fine a fine amen I'm going to actually try to find their pictures am I allowed to do that I don't know <laughs> but I'm going to do it anyway <laughs> like I'm gonna find Jason Hawkins because all these people are my most of them are my friends on Facebook so um but he's one of them I dated him for several months and then me and him broke up because he was older than me he was from Atlanta he had a whole lot of issues he had a big mama he was lying saying he had a vasectomy he didn't and then he didn't and then I met who was it I mean Swale let me Swale before Jason. No, I met him after Jason. I met him Swale, and then Swale was cute little light skin obsession that I had. He was Gemini. This was I realized I would never date. That was my first and only Gem. My first Gemini. I made one more in my lifetime, and that was it. But after him, I just knew I would never date another Gemini in my life. This was before I was into astrology or anything like that. I just knew his birthday, he was a Gemini. Me and him was just not compatible like that. I didn't like what how he was, and that was just the end of that. So, 
so we let we lasted for a while. I in our relationship ended up ending because of a, a betrayal from a friend, and that'll be another story time. Hmm, that's a bit a good story time. Um, a betrayal from a friend. Um, oh yeah, I am going to tell that story. But then Swale ended, and then I met my baby daddy. Yeah, this sound this sounds about right. <laughs> but I met my baby daddy. I met my baby daddy when I was in high in, uh, junior. Or, I want to say junior high school. No, that's not right. No, I was in college when I met my baby daddy. My bad. All the, these three men was after high school. So Jason Hawkins, Squale, my baby daddy, all out of high school. So. I want to say this is right, but I don't care if it's the timeline is wrong. This this is the man, okay? <laughs> and then, of course, I created a child with my baby father. Uh, I'm sure there's people in there who grabbed this with cracks. I don't remember who or what. It was so long ago. But I'm sure there were some people in there who just... Probably was irrelevant, and I don't even care anymore. But those were major people that played a major part in my life. There was one mother person in St. Louis before I moved out here. It sounded like someone cheated on baby father with this person. He was actually from Vegas, and then I met him at a gas station. This was when I thought I was just the ish, okay? And um, I met him at a gas station. And I walked up to him and was like, I think you're so fine. I was blind. I remember the we exchanged numbers. I said, give me a call sooner than later. And he gave me a call. The worst decision of my life. And then we, he picked me up and he, he took me to this waterfall thing. Oh, yes. He took me to this waterfall thing in St. Louis and at the park or somewhere, and we had sex to the song of Bond. I'm sorry, over and over. It just played over and over and over. That was a significant time in my life because that man gave me gonorrhea. <laughs> that man gave me gonorrhea. But that's why I always remember him because that was a significant time in my life. My first disease, okay? Because of this man and my hot and ass, me want to be hot and ass, okay? I had also dated... Uh, my sister's boyfriend brother. I can't even remember his name anymore. I remember his face. I can't remember his name. He's actually on, how embarrassing, but he is on my Instagram. He has whole life kids. Why? I think, yeah, I think he's married now. He was my, he was such a crush. I loved him so much, but I was such a whole bag that I could not, oh, this was the same time. I think I was dating so I lay at this time. No, this was somebody else I was dating. Okay, see, <laughs> there are all rushing back. Okay, it's rushing back slowly. Okay, so I was messing with him, and I, he was so good to me. He was so good to me. But then you can't, you can't date me. Look, look at his face. Imagine his face when you're 18, 19. It's impossible. It was like this big, had a body out of this world, this pretty old face. You know, I could get any man I wanted to at that time. Like, literally, any man I wanted to. And he was one of those good men, like, completely catered to me, gave me the world. I mean, he just, he was above and beyond boyfriend. I just was a whole bag, so I didn't appreciate what I had. So I remember the night he broke up with my ass, and I just, I just could take it. I wanted him back so bad. But I did him so wrong. In the middle of the night, I got up. Me and my sister got up in the middle of the night and rode around with this guy. I don't even remember his name anymore. I, mean, I don't even remember where I met him either. But me and my sister was dating them. She was dating the cousin. I was dating the, the light-skinned guy. I have a thing for light-skinned men, okay? So I was dating the cousin. She was dating the, the other cousin. They got along great. Me and him, I hit my guy was like this huge drug dealer. So I'm riding around with him around around the city. And I was his arm candy pretty much. That's really all I was. Somehow we met got messed up when my brother, my sister's boyfriend brother, 
dumped me because I wouldn't leave him alone. Oh, that was that was a heartache. I lo- I really did love him though. But then I was still I was a whole bag. So I started dating him, and then this is something. All these men were light skinned too, except one, except Jason Hawkins. Jason Hawkins was the only dark skin out of this bunch. All the rest of it was pretty much red bones. And then he was, he was, this, this was the night, the first time I ever got hit by a man. And I remember the day was, this, am I gonna, I'm going to make this a story time. Nope, I'm not going to go into the story. Just know this was one of those times that, yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, so it didn't work out because he was an abusive, crazy man. And he was in a crazy man because I spoke to his cousin before him and then he just went berserk. I have no idea when his birthday, what kind of sign he was, but he was psycho. And that was my first psycho. Many more to come. <laughs> that was my first psycho, okay? Uh, after him, I'm trying to think by now, I'm out of high school. That's when I was, that's, I was still dating him when I was in living with my brother. Uh, Neil, Neil is another one. I dated Neil. Neil, I dated him in high school. He had a he. Had, I was his high school crush. Now, I don't even talk to Neil. Neil came out here one time. He's on my social media, and for whatever reason, he think I was acting funny to him when he was out here. I don't remember ha- acting funny to him at all. I was trying to give. I was trying to creep off to his hotel room and give him some. But for whatever reason, he thought I was acting funny, and he would not speak to me. I thought we actually had a good time, but. He, he think I was acting funny. I'm like, what? So last time I spoke to him, he told me to get the F off his phone because I was a fake B. And I was acting funny when he came out here and I have no idea what he was talking about. But Neil was another one. He was a dark skinned guy, but he was my, he was a high school crush. I dated him after Corey. Corey was my first love. I dated him after Corey. Um, Cause he had, he was, he was the opposite of Dory. Corey, Corey, Corey was the thug gangbanger. Neil was, Neil was the, the nerdy boy, but he had, well, he was a nerd. He was the athlete. He played basketball. Nice body. Fat, came from money the whole nine. So, and he, and you saw him now. He's still nice body, fine as hell. Got money. Like, <laughs> like Neil was that guy. Okay. Uh, I dated Valandre. I remember Valandre. Valandre, me and him had, he was a Capricorn too. The problem with Valandre, we got along great. The problem with Valandre, yes. That was his, that was the problem. I was introduced to him by my best friend, Sheena, and rest in peace, Sheena. I did a video about her as she passed away from lupus, but I, I, I met him through her and his brother. But other than that, if he didn't have a small bee, we would have worked out so fine because I loved Valandre. He was, that was my boy. He's another that's on, I think he's still on my Facebook. I'll see if I can find their pictures and insert them so y'all can see what they, these people, most of them look like. Not all of them, but most of them. Uh, who else we got? There was one person, I don't, no, I didn't sleep with him. I just, I just faked the funk with him. I didn't sleep with him. I didn't sleep with him. Ooh, I'm trying to think. There was somebody, oh, I guess I'm not even going to talk about him because I don't even remember his situation. I don't remember how I met him. I don't remember what he looked like. I, I don't remember nothing about him, so I guess he's kind of irrelevant. Uh, so, what did we leave off? Um, that guy. So, I can't quite remember any more real people. I'm sure there's, I'm sure there's more. I just can't remember any more back home. Like, it's, it's stopping... It's stopping, and I can't recall any more people after that. But I'm sure there's plenty more. Don't judge me. <laughs> now, bringing it to Vegas. So, Vegas is a whole nother, whole nother beast. So, the first person I've met on her was my baby daddy. And I pretty much had a relationship with him since I was 19. But I had a little flings because he was in and out of California all the time. So... I'm not going to remember all the flings. I'm going to do my best. <laughs> so I remember. Oh, he is on my social media. I can't remember his name, but I will put his picture here. So 
you guys could see, we met, we used to live at the same apartment or, or close to the same apartments. I can't remember his name at this very moment, but I will hear his name will be there. Um, who else? Who else? There was this guy. See, that's the problem. There was those just flings. They meant nothing. I don't even remember their names. Um, because he has his YouTube page. So the person that I'm putting here, he has a YouTube page. He has a podcast on YouTube. So go subscribe to his channel. Um, <laughs> it's really hard. It's really, really hard. It's really hard. Okay, so let me think about the people who, of course, you know about. Andre was my boyfriend. Okay, on Andre, I did cheat on Andre one time. One time in our entire four-year relationship. I cheated on him one time. This was the first time I realized that I was in love because I had a conscience. And usually, I never have a conscience for anything. And I had sex with this guy in our home. I know it was bad. And then I, when he wanted to go again, and I just couldn't go again. And he was like, are you feeling bad? I'm like, I am feeling bad. And this was the first time something resonated with me that somebody ever said. And, 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 and not any. Andre said, cheating is not a mistake. It's a choice. You choose to cheat. Um, so if I ever find out to cheat on me, this relationship is over. You gamble everything that I do for you just for one night stand. So if that's what you want, fine. But if I ever find out, there's nothing you can say to get me to come back to you. I didn't get it into that very moment. I was riding him on our bed. And I said, I could not do this. I just chose to invite this man into our home that he paid the bills at. I chose to bring him in our room. And I chose to sleep with him. I said, Andre was absolutely correct. Cheating is a choice, not a mistake. I never cheated on him again. I don't remember his name. But he was somebody that I met at the gas station, one of my favorite gas stations in this area that I still live in. That gas station closed down, but he used to live there, and that's where I met him at. So I never saw him again out there. Um, I slept with this guy. This is also going to be a story time. In an old apartment complex that I had, it was a very nice looking, light skinned man. But he was one of those people who be like, you're cute to be a black girl. And I'm going to do a video on, on that, like colorism and shit like that. Um, and he told me that, he told me that like right after I saw a video on YouTube about men saying this to black women, like you're cute to be black or whatever. Like who says that? And then he actually said that to me. So I'm actually going to do a video about that with other different, I'm trying to do different shades of my friends because they're all like light like skin, dark skin, you know, in between. And to talk about how it feels to be, you know, you know, dark skinned women, you know, in, in this, in this, in this culture, you know, we're going to discuss that. We're going to discuss that. Keep going. We're going to discuss that. Uh, who else? Um, there's a guy, same area, same area. I don't remember his name anymore. I'm going to try to find, I think it was Wally or Walls. It was Swall something. I think he's. I blocked him on my Facebook, so maybe I can unblock him from my Facebook. I think he's still on my Facebook. <laughs> maybe I can and try to snatch his picture. <laughs> but he was a dark skin, kind of darky guy. I forgot how we even met, why we met, why I even got paid him any mind. Maybe because I was lonely or some shit. My baby daddy was out of town all the time and I needed somebody to talk to. So he was another one. Um, uh, oh. He's this one is significant. His this is an ex boyfriend. This was same time I met my baby daddy. I was dating him. I had to make a choice between who I wanted to be with. I chose my baby daddy. It was probably the biggest mistake of my life. It probably really was because he loved me to death, and I hurt his heart when I left him for my baby daddy. And you know why I chose my baby daddy was because my baby daddy had a car. <laughs> That's why I chose my baby daddy at the time. I didn't even love my baby daddy. I didn't even care about my reason time. I absolutely adored my boyfriend. I loved him to death. But I was cheating on him with my baby daddy because my baby daddy had a car. So remember, I was 18 when I made that dumb decision. I was 18. But his picture would be here too. 
but I loved him to death. Um, who I'm with now, of course, Mr. Eddie Pitts. Uh, prior to that was, of course, Ken, Mr. Ken Jackson. Um, anybody in between that? I don't think so. Not much in between that because it was a white man I slept with with my baby daddy when he was out of town, but it wasn't. It didn't go anywhere. We just kind of a we dated a couple times. We went on dates a couple times. I didn't really date. We went on a few dates because I was trying to see if I can push myself to date outside of my race, and I just can't. I'm just not that girl. I don't date outside of my race. I try. It just it, it doesn't work for me. Uh, two Scorpios out here. I don't. I couldn't. I couldn't tell you what their names are. I can. Oh, I might can find one of them in the archive photo. I'm gonna try to look for one of them in my archives. But I stuck with them because I wanted to see what the hype was about. That's just the really, really reason why I got involved with them. It's because I wanted to see what the hype about. Everybody talked about how nasty freaky Scorpios are. I'm saying. So I was just interested to see what am I missing? Am I missing something that was so special? It turns out I wasn't missing a goddamn thing. I've had better. I said what I did learn between the two was they're greedy. That's the that's the most that they I can say about them that they're greedy. Like Scorpios, you can't just sleep with them one time and think that's just not gonna be enough for them. Because I learned it from both men that it's not. Both men they just they wanted to keep going and keep going and keep going and keep going. And I was just like enough. I, <laughs> that's just how I felt. I just wasn't. I was like okay, I get it, but. That, but other than that, I didn't see what the hype was about. They just was greedy. And um, anybody else? Mm, I don't know. So at this moment, I'm, I'm going to say I'm going to say that's it because I can't really think about. It. I can't really remember anymore. I'm going to remember anymore. Um. But that is enough, I guess. <laughs> That's enough. It's a long, it's a pretty decent list. Um, I brought you from from 16 up to 37, so I guess that's okay. You've seen enough. You heard enough. If I forgot people, that means they were irrelevant. And I'm sure there was a pretty, pretty, pretty oh no, there is one person I cannot forget. He will. He played a major part in my life. I'm not going to say his name because I don't want y'all fighting him, but I will put his picture. Oh, I shouldn't have said nobody's name, frankly. <laughs> but, but I just put his picture. Um, I loved him so much. I actually cheated on Andre with him. Me and Andre was living together the whole night. He was a neighbor. And... I got caught up. I don't even know how this began. Like, I just got caught up in something that I wasn't prepared for. Like, I really did. I got caught up in something that I wasn't really prepared for. I was just bored because I was just in school. Andre was doing all the work. I didn't know, you know, I just wanted some company. I just wanted to, you know, I just wanted a little company. And he had a crush on me. So I like was like, well, whatever, we can, we can have sex, you know what I mean? And then I was like, and he was young. I was 20, what was the track? I was like 27, 28. I was somewhere around there. He was in his like early 20s. He may just turn 20 at the time. And um, and we had sex. And he blew my, my cap way back. I, my, my wig cap like, all the way back. I was like, wait a minute. Wait, this, was, this was a fluke. This was supposed to be like me showing this little young boy what it is. But in terms, he showed me what it was. And then we, like, we became animals for each other. Like, we were like dogs in heat. And we did it everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> like everywhere rock. 
in our apartment pools at parks in cars it didn't matter we were like dogs in heat okay and i was so hooked on him like i was really i was really into him like i you could say i was his even though i was girl, andre's girlfriend i was his girlfriend too like that's just literally how i feel and he had a girlfriend he had a girlfriend but he, he was just like he was so in love with me at the time and i was in love with him too and i was in love with andre i was in love with two men i knew i wasn't gonna leave andre and he knew i wasn't gonna leave andre because he couldn't provide the lifestyle that i wanted but if he could have, I would have left Andre. <laughs> like, I was so into him. Like, I was so into him for such a long time. And we broke it because he ended up going to California. Like, I was going to California to go visit him. Like, that's how serious I was. I was lying and said I was going to California. I think I literally drove out there myself just to spend the day with him in California with his family. We went to the beach. We went to a volleyball tournament. Like, we did a whole bunch of shit just on the low. That nobody didn't even know what we were doing. Because I was so hooked on him. And then we broke it. He never came back to Vegas. Like, he disappeared, like, for a month. And it had to it forced me to get over him. Because I couldn't get over him. Because we were, you know, we were so connected with each other. And then, when I didn't talk to him for, like, a month, it forced me to get over him. And then when he did pop back up into my life, I didn't feel the same anymore. Like, it, the, it, it was changed. I was able to sleep with him. And then I felt nothing after that. And I was able to move on. I said, but during that time, it was very hard too because I really felt for him. But I ain't gonna say his name because that's my boy and I still talk to him to this day. <laughs> but I will show his picture though. <laughs> Let's see what he So no, there was one person, I never slept with him, but I wish I, and I still do, still wish I would, I do. He knows who he is. I'm not gonna play this picture, but that's the love of my life still and I love him. We've never had, we never did anything when we were just really cool and we always had a mutual crush on each other because we used to work together and we had to always had a great vibe. And I always say, I always tell him to this day, I talked to him this morning. I said, I believe you are the one. You like are the one because I've never done anything with you and I have this thing for you. Like I, like I know by, without a shadow of a doubt, I love you. I've never did anything in anything to you. Not once, not even give you a kiss. I never even kissed him, but I love him. I'm like, so I say, I tell every time I say, you are the one. I believe deep down in my heart that you are the one. I said, but, but nevertheless, I'm going to end it here because y'all are all in my fucking business and I always have been in my fucking business since I started this goddamn YouTube channel, okay? So like, comment, share, and subscribe if you want to know some more of my goddamn business. All right, peace out. Enjoy the month of August, the videos that I got coming to you in the month of August. Watch them, like them, and subscribe to them. Also, share them, you know, so the people in YouTube land know that I exist. Do your girl a favor. I'm growing, but growing slowly. If you still want content like this, you got to help me out. Do your part and push the subscribe button down below. See you in the next one.